Okay, let's take a look at how are you going to add new products onto your website and edit products on your website or take off products on your website. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to log into your client zone. This is your client zone over here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to say, this is the domain. So over here, you're going to see all your domains. You're going to say log into Plesk. You log into Plesk. Once you're on Plesk, you are going to see all the domains that you currently have. Okay, so let's let's use the Gamers X3 one. That's your WordPress, that's your dashboard, hosting, mail, get started. Okay, let's go log in over here. Okay, so now I'm logging into the back end of my website. Okay, so this is the back end of the website. Over here, you're going to see all this. Just a test website of mine. Okay, over here, you're going to see everywhere you can go into. There's my WooCommerce and there's my products. So what you want to do is you want to click on products. What I always do is I just say all products. From here on, this is going to show you all the products that you currently have on your website. Simple. Okay, so I've got a product here already. If you want to delete a product, you click on it and you say trash. Okay, so let's trash that product. Okay, oh, you accidentally trashed the wrong product. You open up trash and you can go on it and you're going to say restore. And then the product will be back and it will be showing on your website. Okay, but now you want to add a product. All that you're going to do is you're going to see on top here, it's going to see, uh, say products and you're going to say add new. Later on, I'll show you guys how to add a product with a CSV file. Okay, over here, you're going to say the product name. So let's say we are selling a t-shirt. Uh, men's t-shirt in orange. Okay, let's take the color out. Let's, let's assume this t-shirt has more than one color. Okay, so this is going to be your title of your product. Okay, description. Here you want to go into as much detail as possible about this product. So say, let's say men's t-shirt in orange. Uh, okay, let's take the color out because I want to use something on account. Men's t-shirt uh, made of cotton in various sizes sizes and then from here on you're just going to obviously go into as much detail as pro as possible about your product this part is the seo part what i always do is copy this uh copy the the heading and paste it over here and then you want to copy just a little bit of your description not the entire description and put it into your meta okay let's do this like this control v okay and then what you want to do with your meta description is you want to make sure that you've got enough details here can you guys see the orange bar over here okay so you want to put enough details here off the t-shirt until it turns green so this seo is for this is for google there's the ability for google to actually find you what you always want to do is you want to try to get a seo to green readability to green Okay, then we're going to go to the bottom over here. So this part over here. So this you'll only see if you've got a website through X3 Web. See, if you've got a website through X3 Web, we give you analytics toolkits and everything. Okay, so that only you'll see when you've got a website with X3 Web. Okay, so let's go all the way down. So general, this is the product prices and so on. So if it's a t-shirt, it will be a simple product. If it's group products, that means it's going to be more than one product grouped together. Affiliate product or external product is something that you are not selling. Uh, somebody else is selling it and you've got an affiliate link to that product. Variable product is if a product has more than one variable. But in this case, this is actually not a simple product because it's going to have variants. Variants is the sizes, uh, the colors and so on. So let's put variant product. Okay, now from here onwards, we're going to say, uh, okay, SKU, SKU, let's call it one, that's the code of your product. Okay, stock managers, track stock quantity of this product. Yes, I want to track my quantity, and I have got five of these products available right now. Okay, so now the website, so when somebody buys something on your website, then that will automatically change to four, three, two, one.
allow back orders uh, do you want a back order when the product when the, uh, this runs out yes or no i do not want to allow it low stock threshold when i've got one left or let's say when i have two left of this product then a notification on the product will come up and it will say almost sold out sold individually means you the, a client can only buy one of these at a time but in my situation the guy can buy as many as he wants to okay so the next one is your shipping okay so if you've got a website through extra web we would have added your shipping in already for you so you're going to say the weight of this product is 20 the dimensions of this product is 10 10 and height this is the box that it comes in so if it comes in a box that you're going to ship it to what you want to do is this is going to be the box so the the length the height and the weight of that box and then you're going to choose a shipping clause i haven't set up shipping clauses here in another video i will show you guys how to set up shipping clauses okay from here onwards you want to go to link products is there any upsell so in other words the upsell is the guy basically as you guys can read over here upsell is uh the guy buys a t-shirt but you can also have a hat with it so do you have any products on the store that's upsells or that's cross sales then you can just add those products in there as well attributes so it's a variable product so now you want to create an attribute for it okay so let's say this attribute is size okay size it comes in a small you want to use this sign over here let me just go back there you, ah i'm messing up over here wait okay so what you want to do is you want to use that sign over there okay it comes in a medium i keep pressing enter it comes in a large and it comes in an extra large okay and it comes in an extra extra large okay from there on yes you say save attribute but now this product also comes in different colors okay so now you want to add another attribute you say add new okay and let's say color it comes in orange it comes in blue it comes in yellow and it comes in green okay and then you want to say save attribute okay so you've got size over here and you've got color over here okay wait for it to save then you want to go to variation so now from these it's going to create variation so you're going to say yes okay you're going to say generate variations and it's going to say do you want to generate all the variations and you're going to say okay and it's going to generate all the different types of variations a product can have okay so this is a small one you click on a small one does it have a specific sku then you can put it sku in here for you uh, it's the regular price let's say this thing's price is 100 rand sale price but it's on sale i'm going to sell it for 75 rand weight of this product is 10 uh oh yeah 10 dimensions is 10 width it's 10 and height it's 10 that's the box it comes in there eh? uh, same as parent yeah shipping clause is the same as the main one and then you can put a different description if you don't put a different description it can be the same description it will use the same description as the um the main one now you want to add an image you click on here and then it's, you choose an image directly from your library if you don't have an image in your library you can just drag one so let's click on here again okay so now i don't have an image over here okay so now i want to drag an image into here let's take this image and we drag it in okay so i want to use this image over here and then from here onwards you're going to move on to the next one this is a blue one and you're going to do the exact same with the blue Okay, so let's choose an image. I'm just going to use the same image for everybody. A variation price is once 100 rand. Sale price, it's 75 rand. Wait, fill in all of that. It's exactly the same with this variation. You go to all your variations and you and you add it. Like you can see that this is an extra large in yellow, extra large in blue, extra large in orange. Uh, large in green large in yellow you guys understand what i mean over here and then you must also remember you can go to the next page over here but you have to save first né? 
Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so there's the variations done. Then your short description over here. Uh, short description comes on the side of your product. And you can just put in any extra description that you want the guy or your visitor to see immediately when he comes onto your website. Okay, from here onwards, you want to go to the top. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, product tags is what are they going to search for on your website to find this product. So uh, let's call it a t-shirt. Uh, let's call it a men's shirt. Uh, let's call it a... Um, orange shirt so anything that can search on your website to find this product from here in what category does it come in i don't have categories yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say add category and let's call this category t-shirts okay so when a person on your website clicks on the category t-shirts it will automatically take him over here if your website has been built with x3 web you'll have a sidebar on your shop and this will actually appear automatically on your sidebar Okay, so from here on, you want to put gallery images. So we're going to choose a few images. Okay, so I want another image in here of this T-shirt. Let's put another image in here. That one, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one. It's all images of that T-shirt over here. Then you're going to say the main product image. Let's use this one here, set product image. That's going to be the main product image. Okay, and from there onwards, you're going to say publish. So now it's live. It's on your website. Once it's been published, it's on your website. So let's take a look. The way I do it, so guys, look closely now. Okay, I start on top here. Then I fill in everything in the middle over here until I'm right at the bottom. Once I'm right at the bottom, I go all the way to the right and I fill in from the bottom upwards everything once you fold in everything you've done now you want to view the product you go over here and you say view product and here you can see that's a main t-shirt obviously the website's not it's still the normal theme you can see the product over here you can see the images that we uploaded over here and then this product is currently out of stock and unavailable because I don't have any stock available of it. And then a description, additional information that you can find about a product and reviews. Okay, and now you want to edit this product. You're going to say edit product. And then you back here. Now you want to maybe change the name of the product or something. Or you want to change the, the, the price of a specific product. Let's go to variations. And then this price you want to update now to much more expensive. Okay. You're going to go to the bottom. Everything's folding all the way up. And you are going to say update you literally run from the bottom upwards and then uh, just play around a little bit the more you play with this section over here the easier it's going to be all of these you can always just close or you can update okay so uh, if you guys have any questions about adding products or so on let me know and then we can help you with this one as well